Once you've finished your daily pre-check inspection and you're ready to go to work, starting a Bell truck is as easy as pushing a button. There are no keys required to start a Bell truck. Simply press the green button to initiate the system. The truck will ask you for your four digit code. In this case, we'll put in 7436. Now we press the green button to start the truck. Now in order to put it into drive, first we must release the park brake. And the Bell truck's automatic park brake is engaged. We are in neutral. In order to drive, we will press the drive button and start to accelerate. Looking at the SSM keypad, all the functions of the truck, for the most part, are handled through this keypad. We have our start switch here. This is our engine shutdown switch. This is our hazard light switch. Next to that is the parking brake switch. We'll usually only have to turn this off one time. The system is equipped with an auto park brake. So anytime it's in neutral and even in drive and reverse, the auto park brake will be applied. In drive and reverse, it'll stay applied until we apply enough RPM to overcome the torque needed to move the truck. In this area, we have the controls for the air conditioner. This is to turn the air conditioner on. This is the air recirculate button. This is your fan speed button. There's three separate fan speeds that can be selected. This is your temperature button. Press the down arrow to lower the temperature and the up arrow to raise the temperature. Next, you have a button to control the vent direction and the air direction. Here, we have the gear hold button. This is a convenient feature if you don't want the automatic transmission to shift up or down. You can press this button and it will maintain the gear. Then you have the IDL and CTD manual engage buttons. This system has an automatic traction control system, so if it needs, feels wheel slip and it needs to engage the inner axle differential lock or the control traction differentials, it does so automatically. When you press the lights, the first light will engage the IDL, inner axle differential lock. The second light will engage the control traction differentials manually. Then you have your beacon light switch, your driver's lights, that's your headlights and your tail lights, your windshield wiper speed selection, slow, intermittent, and fast. If you hold this button in, it will spray the washer fluid. You have your heated mirrors, your work lights, and here you have your I-tip button. The I-tip button has a couple of different positions. The first button is your hard stop. If that button is not applied, then you'll be in soft stop, which means your bin will raise to about 94%. If you're dealing with sticky material, though, you'll probably want to put it in the hard stop function, and that allows the bin to raise to 100%. If we press it again, now we're in I-tip mode. One more time, we're in I-tip with hard stops. I-tip is an automatic dump mode. Basically, when we have it in I-tip mode, instead of having to hold and continue to hold the up arrow or the down arrow to raise or lower the bin, now we can just select the button and the system will automatically place the truck in neutral, apply the park brake, and raise the engine RPM sufficiently to raise the bed in a fast way and dump the load. Then all we have to do to lower the load is to press the button just one time. We can press drive and we can start to drive away. Very convenient feature and this will save the operator and improve the productivity quite a bit. It will save a lot of time. Then we have the brake retarder switch. This is to decrease and to increase the amount of hydraulic brake retarders that are applied. We have hydraulic wet disc brakes and we have hydraulic brake retarders. There are six different levels of retardation, starting at 25% and going all the way up to 100%. Another nice feature of this, and sometimes something that can confuse an operator, if you hold and maintain this button held in for about three seconds, the screen will display a speed selection switch. This is a nice safety feature and allows the operator to set a speed that they cannot exceed. So by holding it in, now it starts to flash. That means you're in the speed selection menu. You can increase the speed or decrease the speed. Then to set it, you'll simply hold it back in again, the lights stop flashing, and now that speed setting has been set. 
The B drive is a convenient selector switch that the operator can use to select different functions and menus on the monitor. The A button is used to go back. The B button can be used to access the service or diagnostics menu. The C button will move forward. The D button is a page back button. And the E button allows you to go to the main menu or the drive screen. The rotary knob is used to select within menus and you can press down to select different options. Once you've finished your shift, park the truck on a level surface and engage the parking brake. To turn off the truck, you'll simply press the stop button and the truck will automatically go into a turbo spin down mode to cool off all the after treatment system. As it does this, it will also evacuate the def from the lines back to the tank. This is a process that takes a few minutes. Simply press the button to stop. It goes into turbo spin down mode. And then the system will start to evacuate the def lines. And as you exit the cab, before you turn off the master switch, you want to make sure that the light goes out above the master switch. This is your indication that it's okay to turn it off.